five, four, three, Good evening, good evening, brothers and sisters, and welcome to the Lavington SDA pre completing Evangelistic Series. My name is George Kidenda, and I'm the head of trust to stewardship uh, department. I have here in my company, my sister ZP Obonyo, who will be offering our prayer for today, and Brother Musa Misiani, who is leading us in the song service. This series was um, uh, started so that we can be able to bring the brethren together and prepare them for the camp meeting that's starting at the end of July. The, meeting, the, uh, the meetings will run for a whole week, every evening starting from 6.30. Our speakers will be Pastor Paul O'War, Pastor Ray Cases, Pastor, Pastor Tima, those that may not be able to pronounce it very well, and Pastor <clears throat> Ouma, Boaz Ouma. And they will be speaking to us on different topics. Uh, this time, Pastor Ward will introduce the theme of the camp meeting, and he'll be joining us shortly after our song service. At this moment, I just want to invite my sister Zippy Bonyo to lead us in prayer. Thank you, Elder, and good evening, everyone. Uh, let's believe God and pray. We are praying. Eternal gracious Lord in heaven, we come before the throne of mercy this evening with thanksgiving and praise, Lord. We want to thank you, Father, for the blessed Sabbath day that you've had at your feet. We thank you for the sermons that we've received. Thank you for your word that has enriched our souls, Lord, all through the day, King of glory. We thank you for your power, King of glory, to save us, King of glory. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for the privilege and opportunity that you've given us, even for this new week, Lord Jesus, to come at your feet and to seek thy face, Lord Jesus, even as we prepare for the camp meeting. Indeed, you've been gracious to us. You've been good to us, Lord. And all around us, all that we can see, all that we can feel is your presence filling our heart, Jehovah Father. But again, Lord, we realize that even in the course of the day, a holy day as it was, Father in heaven, we may have wandered far from you, we may have done sin, King of glory. We may have gone against your will. And so this evening, Father in heaven, I want to pray, Lord Jesus, that you may forgive us because, Lord, your promise is true that them who confess and come before you, Lord, we shall forgive, Father. We look into you, Father in heaven, that you may grant us rest that our souls yearn for and need, Father in heaven. And so we pray, Father, even that as we lay every burden of sin at thy feet, Lord Jesus, that we may take of the yoke, Lord, that is light and the yoke, Lord Jesus, that shall lead us to that which where you want us to be, King of glory. Father, in a special way, Lord, we want to bring the congregation that is watching online, Father, to the able hand, Lord, that you who knows each and every one of them, Father, with the need that they have, King of glory, may you come through for them, Lord, and may you reach them at the point of need, Lord Jesus. We understand, Father, in heaven that we have friends, we have members, Lord, we have family members, King of glory, who are not well. Yet, Lord Jesus, we know that you are the great physician, Father. And we believe that even now that we're presenting them to the able hand, Lord, you are touching them with your mighty healing hand and that you're bringing relief of pain from them, Jehovah God, and that, Lord Jesus, you are restoring their health, King of glory. We also want to thank you, Father in heaven, for children in our families, Lord. We want to thank you that you brought them back safely from school, King of glory. And even for the period that they shall stay at home, Lord Jesus, we want to pray and commit them to the able hand, Lord, that you shall take care of them, shall protect them against harm and danger, Lord Jesus, and that you shall draw them closer and closer to you, Father in heaven. We thank you for parents, Jehovah God, that even this week, as they look for school fee, Father in heaven, to take back uh, children at the end of, 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 of the holiday back to school, Lord, Father, you shall provide, dear God, Father. We want to pray for orphans, we want to pray for single parents, Lord, wherever they are, Jehovah God, may their hope continue to be upon you, Lord Jesus, may they look forward to you, Lord Jesus, to provide for their need, King of glory. We especially, Father in heaven, this moment, Father, thank you for the children who, Lord Jesus, in one way or another, Father, have gone astray, Lord. 
You who is mighty, Lord Jesus, to save Father in heaven, we pray that you may stretch forth your hand, Lord Jesus, and that you may hear the prayer of brethren, Lord, who are seeking you, Father in heaven, for the sake of children who have gone astray, Lord, that you may bring them closer to you, Father. You may bring them back to your whole, Lord Jesus, Father. Dear God, we also want to thank you, Lord Jesus, for our country, Kenya. We commit it to the able hand, Father in heaven, that even as we go through this process of um, electioneering period, Lord, we want to trust you, Father in heaven, that because we are seeking you, Lord, you shall give us leaders who will bring glory and honor to your name, leaders who will represent you in this country, Jehovah God, leaders who will make your name to be known to the corners of this country, Lord Jesus. And so we commit each and every citizen, Lord Jesus, even as you prepare to vote, that you shall grant us wisdom from above and that the leaders who will be elected, they will be those, Lord Jesus, who will not bring shame to you, but will bring glory and honor to you, Father in heaven. We also want to thank you for the church, Lord Jesus. Thank you for every member, Lord Jesus, of Lovington Church and Worldwide Church, Father in heaven. Dear God, you know your children, you know what we are seeking and we are yearning for, Lord, in our heart. We pray that you may fill us with the Holy Spirit, Lord, that even as we walk through this um, time of end, that this time that, Lord, many are depressed and many don't know what to do, Father, you may come through for them, Lord. You may come through for all of us, Jehovah God, and you may draw us closer to you, that your light may continue to shine in us, Lord, that you may be able to reflect it into this sin sick world, Lord. In a very special way, Lord, I want to thank you for them, uh, those who will minister all through this week. We commit them to the bold hand and pray, dear God, that you shall come through for them, Lord. You shall minister through them, Lord, that through their words that we shall come out of their mouth, Lord, shall be words that have been inspired by you, Lord. We also pray for pastors who will be speaking, Jehovah God, that you may put your word into their mouth, and that, Lord, as they speak, Lord, let glory and honor be unto you, Father. At the end of this week, Jehovah God, let our soul decide for you, Jehovah God. At the end of this week, Lord, let our soul testify that indeed you've been with us. Thank you for this evening program. As we start and go on, Lord, let your name be glorified and let us be drawn closer and closer to you. For this is our prayer, trusting and believing. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. 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 Uh, good evening, good evening, everyone, and uh, thank you so much for <clears throat> joining us this evening as we go through this emphasis week for the camp meeting. We shall go into the singing session. Uh, the singing, we'll do a few hymns. We'll start with hymn number 430, Joy By and By. Uh, so wherever you are, uh, please join me uh, in, uh, in singing uh, this wonderful hymn. Oh, there'll be joy when the work is done. Joy when the reapers gather home, bringing the sheaves at set of sun in the new Jerusalem. Joy, joy, there'll be joy by and by. Joy, 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 there'll be joy never dies. Joy, joy, joy for the day draw its night. When and the work has got a Sweet are the songs that we hope to sing. Grateful the thanks our hearts shall bring. Praising forever Christ our King in the new Jerusalem. Joy, 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 there'll be joy by and by. Joy, 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 where the joys never die. Joy, joy, for the day, joy is night, when the work has gathered home. You are the joys that await us there. Many the world and mansions fair. Jesus himself doth them prepare in the new Jerusalem. Joy, joy, there'll be joy by and by. Joy, joy, where the joys never die. Joy, joy, for the day, joy is night, when the work has got a home. We'll turn to him 598, 598, watch ye saints. 
598, Watch ye saints. Watch ye saints with eyelids waking, lo, the powers of heaven are shaking. Keep your lamps all trimmed and burning, ready for the Lord's returning. Lo, he comes, lo, Jesus comes, lo, he comes, he comes, all glorious, Jesus comes to reign victorious, lo, he comes, yes, Jesus comes. Lo, the promise of your Saviour, pardon sin and purchase favour, blood washed robes and crowns of glory, haste to tell redemption story. Lo, he comes, lo, Jesus comes. Lo, he comes, he comes, all oh, glorious Jesus comes to reign victorious. Lo, he comes, yes, Jesus comes. Kingdoms at their base are crumbling, hug his chair, your twills are rumbling. Tell, oh, tell of grace abounding, while the servant trump is sounding. Lo, he comes, lo, Jesus comes. Lo, he comes, he comes, oh, glorious Jesus comes to reign victorious. Lo, he comes, yes, Jesus comes. Nations when the proud and stately, Christ his kingdom haste and greatly, as our latest fans is summing, shout ye saints, your Lord is coming, lo, he comes, lo, Jesus comes. Lo, he comes, he comes, oh, glorious. Jesus comes to reign victorious. Lo, he comes, yes, Jesus comes. Sinners come while Christ is pleading. Now for you he's interceding. Haste grace and time diminished. Shall proclaim the mystery finished. Lo, he comes. Lo, Jesus comes. Lo, he comes, he comes, oh, glorious. Jesus comes to reign victorious. Lo, he comes. Yes, Jesus comes. Amen, amen. We'll turn to <clears throat> hymn 602. Oh, brother, be faithful. Uh, um, an old uh, pilgrim song by Uriah Smith, Oh, brother, be faithful, Jesus is soon coming. Oh, brother, be faithful, soon Jesus will come, for whom we have waited so long. Oh, soon we shall enter glorious home and join in the conqueror's song. Oh, brother, be faithful, for why should we and faithful to him who has shown such deep, such unbounded and infinite love, who died to redeem us his own. 
O brother, be faithful, the city of gold, prepared for the good and the blessed, is waiting its portals of power to unfold, and welcome thee into thy rest. Then, brother, prove faithful, not long shall we stay in weariness, he and forlorn. Time's dark night of sorrow is wearing away. We haste to the glorious morn. O oh, brother, be faithful, he soon will descend. Creation's omnipotent king, with legions of angels, his chariot attend, and palm rats of victory bring. O oh, brother, be faithful, and soon shall thou be. Thy Saviour pronounced the glad word. Well done, faithful servant, thy title is clean to enter the joy of thy Lord. Amen. We, we turn now to our come meeting theme song. Uh, theme song for the come meeting is hymn number 417. All solemn, uh, all solemn thought, uh, a Roswell court for him, um, a reminder of uh, the soon coming and of, of Jesus Christ, and he comes bearing uh, judgment and, and justice in his hand. All solemn thought, him 417. All solemn thought, and can it be? The old judgment now is come, which soon must fix our destiny and seal the sinner's fearful doom. Yes, it is so that has been done, is swiftly hastening to his cause. Then will the judge in mighty power descend in vengeance on his foes. He who came down to earth to die, an offering for the sins of men, and then ascend upon high, and will alone return again. Is standing now before the ark, and mercy seat and cherubim to plead his blood for saints and make the last remembrance of their sin. The solemn moment is at hand when we will have his name confessed. Each in his Lord must singly stand and pass the final searching test. Jesus, we hope in thee alone, in mercy now upon us, Luke. Confess our names before the throne and blot our sins from out thy book. O oh, blessed Savior, may we feel the full importance of these are. Inspire our hearts with holy zeal 
heal and aid us by thy spirit's power, that we may in thy strength be strong and brave our conflict valiantly. Then on Mount Zion join the song and swell the notes of victory. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Musa, for leading us in that wonderful song. Indeed, O oh blessed Savior, may we feel the full importance of this hour. Thank you. Thank you very much, brothers and sisters, for joining today. Thank you, our pastor, Walt, for joining us here. We, I can see on, our, um, on the screen that uh, we have uh, 27 gadgets uh, connected, but I want to tell you that in our room here, we are already six. And I'm sure that in many other rooms, there are many more people. And I, I'm trusting that uh, we will send chat on the wall and just confirm how many people are watching with you wherever you have joined us from. Again, uh, just to give you a quick highlight of uh, Elder, you are muted. You are muted. Hello, can Elder, you hear me? Can you hear Elder, me? Now, you, now you're back. Maybe you started fresh. I confess my sins. Thank you fresh. and welcome. <laughs> welcome, every one of you. I've said we are happy to have our pastor with us. He's just come back from the US very recently. And I think this is one of his first missions since he came back. My pastor, we pray for our mom who has been unwell and we are praying that she will recover well. This week, uh, we'll have our pastor talk to us to, together with his colleagues, Pastor Ray Cases, Pastor uh, Chimatosi, and Pastor Boaz Ouma. Pastor Ward is talking to us about the significance of camp meeting, why we should attend it physically. I know that for the last two years, we have been virtual but we are coming back to the physical meetings and pastor will be encouraging us to do just that. After he has spoken to us, on Monday, we'll have Pastor Ray Cases, who will be talking to us about stewardship. So where does the camp meeting offering go? Many of us attend camp meetings and we give generously, but where does that money go? How does the church work with that? Pastor Ray Cases will give us insights on that, and that will take two days on the 4th and the 5th of July. After him, we will have Pastor Chima Tosi, and he'll be talking to us about family life and God's presence in our families. So I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing from our pastor why we should be there in the cup meetings as families. And as we wind up the week, we'll have Pastor Boaz Uma. Pastor Timatosi comes to us from Zambia. Pastor Ray Kesis is coming to us from University of Barton. And Pastor Boaz Uma is coming to us uh, from Northwest Kenya Conference, where is the stewardship director. And he'll be talking to us about the object lessons in the camp meetings of ancient Israel. Without wasting any more of your time, it is my pleasure now to invite our pastor, Pastor Ward, to begin the series for us. And uh, with that, my pastor, I give you the floor. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Elder GK, for that wonderful welcome and introduction. And I want to thank everyone that has joined today. I know today was a very busy day because we had uh, uh, prayer and fasting. And we stayed in church, I think, for long. Maybe some have not been able to join again because uh, today was really busy. And I uh, appreciate the number that is here. And so appreciate the fact that, Elder, you have said uh, we are seeing the gadgets, but the people behind the gadgets would be more than what we are seeing. 
I want to thank everyone for taking your time to be here for the pre-camp meeting that we are starting today. And uh, Elder has uh, given us the subtopics that we'll be handling all the speakers. I want to welcome the speakers that are here. I can see Pastor Chimatos is there. Pastor Phil, most welcome. Uh, is part of the team that are going to be with us as we continue with uh, this series. Uh, friends, God has called us and each and every time that God has called, God never called people just for the sake of it. When God gives a call, you must be sure that there is something very special that he wants to tell you. There's something special that he wants, uh, special information or message that he wants to pass across. And uh, many a times God has always called his children when he has very specific and very legitimate agenda that he wants to share with his children. God and God never calls just for the sake of it because he's a God of time, he's a, a God of, uh, of, uh, of love who takes care also for the needs of his children. So he will only call you when he's sure and he knows that he has got something very special for you. He has got a gift for you. Uh, today we are talking about the camp meeting. Of course, we know the dates of our camp meetings that are coming up for this year, year 2022. Uh, why should we go for a camp meeting? What's a camp meeting? I know we've been in church for long and we do understand the meaning of a camp meeting. In the Bible terminology, it is called the Feast of Tabernacle. The Feast of Tabernacle, that's what is now presently called the camp meeting. Why feast? Because it was a time that the children of Israel would go and really have the week. And it was a week full of eating, celebrating, and also being at the feet of Jesus. And this used to come immediately after the harvest. Therefore, it was really a real feast where people had the, the, the food, they had removed the harvest from the gardens and people had a lot of food that they could eat. They would sit together as families and this feast, they were instructed also to call the neighbors that were around their friends, the foreigners, the visitors that were in their homes, they were to be called together to go and celebrate the Feast of Tabernacle. The question is, why physical? Why at a particular place? It is true that God would meet, meet his children wherever they were. And even today, God still does. God will meet you wherever you are. But God has also ordained a place where he says, let my children come together so that they can all celebrate together. God is a God of fellowship. God is a God who wants us also to share our experiences when we come together as a family. I just want to go back to a bit of the background of this <coughs> from the book of Leviticus chapter 23. Uh, uh, Leviticus, uh, Leviticus chapter 23, and I want to read uh, only two verses there. Leviticus chapter 23, I want to read two verses, and uh, that is verse, verses uh, 33. <laughs> I want to read verse 33 and 34. Leviticus 23, verses 33 and 34. And the word of God reads, 33. Then the Lord spoke to Moses saying, speak to the children of Israel, saying, the 15th day of this seventh month shall be 
the Feast of Tabernacle for, okay, sorry. Okay, let, let me read it again. Verse 33. Then the Lord spoke to Moses saying, speak to the children of Israel saying, the 15th day of this seventh month shall be the feast of tabernacle for seven days to the Lord. The Lord talked to Moses and he told them that this specific date, the 15th day of the seventh month, they will take seven days and those seven days were to be dedicated to God as the days for the feast of tabernacle. This is the root of the camp meeting we are talking about. In fact, they were done in tents. People were to move out of their homes. People were to move out of their comfort zones to go together and pitch the tents for seven days. They would be there at the feet of Jesus. What is a camp meeting? According to Sister White, this is a divine appointment that God does with his children once a year for seven days. So our celebration of the Feast of the Tabernacle is uh, pegged or it finds its roots here in the book of Leviticus that you go there for seven days, you sit at the feet of God, we move out of our homes. That's what is ideal. People were to go out and be with the Lord. Why out? so that your businesses, you are to leave. Your homestead and whatever the stresses of the home, you are to be away. So your focus would be on God. For seven days, they were to be there. They were to gather together and be at the feet of Jesus as God would speak to them through his servant, uh, Moses. So this is what God ordained for this that we have the seven days dedicated to him. In fact, it is also called the Sabbath of seven days. It's a Sabbath of seven days, which was done once in a year. This is the roots of our uh, camp meetings. And this is the, the time that we come to celebrate the goodness of the Lord. And it comes after we have harvested. Therefore, we could come we have done the, uh, the donkey work, we are prepared, and they knew the specific date of the specific month. Then they knew that week was blocked so that they would go and sit at the feet of Jesus. For that divine appointment for seven days, they were to be with God. It is the same, same God because God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Still calling upon his children that we come and we sit together at his feet. What could have been ideal is that we would have moved out because God knew if you stay around your homestead, you would be taking care of other staff and that will distract you a bit and you don't get the, the blessings that God intended for his children. This uh, period of time, all the children of Israel were to come together, to stay together. Remember the entire nation, not just a group of people. Yes, Elder, I'm just coming from uh, US as you have put it. Then they do it at conference level. So a whole conference, like now it is, uh, it was on this week. They are finished. Uh, this is the Sabbath that they came to the climax. But uh, this time around, Majority were doing it online. Only few uh, uh, went there in person uh, service. So there they do it as a conference. This one in the Bible was a whole nation because the whole nation was the nation of Israel, the God-fearing uh, people. Now our nation is loving talk. So the whole nation is called upon. Sister White says something here about camp meetings. He says during that period of time, who should attend? Who should attend? He says the, the parents, their children, their workers, 
their visitors who are visiting plus their neighbors should attend the camp meeting. Why do we go to the camp meeting? Because it is a divine appointment that God has called us to go and be with him. Why away from our home so that we are not distracted by the home issues and uh, interruptions that will come. So people were to go there and they knew as the year or they were counting the days, they knew the exact time that they would go this. So they would block everything that they were to do. All of them were to be at the camp to listen to God as God spoke to them. Uh, nowadays, because of technicalities and uh, what we have in town, sometimes it is not possible for us all to go and camp at Loving Talk. But as much as you are coming from your home, it is important to remind yourself that what is ideal for God is that you be there. That explains why we are saying when we go for the camp meeting, we ought to have blocked everything we are doing so that you wake up very early in the morning, you attend all the, the programs, the lessons that are there till the end of evening, you go back because we cannot accommodate all of us within that small compound. The camp meeting, as I've said, was a time that God called upon his children to come to him and they come together they share together uh, their experiences, they share together their joy after the harvest, and uh, this is the intention of God then and even today because God has not changed. And I just want to read another text here, then we, we wait until tomorrow uh, because of what I have. Numbers 29, Numbers 29, uh, I want to read that one. Because I know people, some of us are hungry, we need to go home and eat. Numbers 29, verse 12. 29, verse 12. Numbers. And the word of God reads. On the 15th day of the seventh month, you shall, you shall have a holy um, convocation. You shall be, uh, you shall do no customary work and you shall keep a feast to the Lord seven days. The children of Israel had very express uh, instructions that on the fifth day of the seventh month, you shall have a holy convocation, a holy convocation. Uh, my fellow Christian members, I don't know what you understand by this. And he says, you shall do no, no customary work and you shall keep uh, a feast for uh, to the Lord seven days. So this one is not even yours, it's not even mine. This is God's. And he says that one will be a week of convoc convocation. This is a week that if by now maybe you have not gotten permission from your workplace, we should just have a special prayer that the Lord may open way for you. I'll, I'll give you a quotation from Sister White when he talks about the suffering that people go through for us to, to organize the camp meetings. He says that during this time, the speakers spend sleepless nights trying to organize their uh, presentations and wrestling with the power of the Holy Spirit so that they may come to represent God in this meeting. They are representing God. And each one of them is spending sleepless nights for the sake of us. 
And Sister White continues to say that during that time, please let your business and your work suffer so that you can be here for God to receive his blessings. Remember, it is done once a year for seven days. It is a time that God has ordained, and it is also my prayer that the Lord will open way for each one of us that we can come and celebrate together this Feast of Tabernacle for the dates of 30th uh, to 6th of August, uh, 30th of, of, uh, of July to 6th of August, we shall all be gathered together at that place that God has ordained in the name of Lovington SDA Church as we listen to the voice of God speaking to us. What are the advantages and disadvantages? One advantage I know is that God is saying, when he calls us, he has got specific uh, I mean, agenda for you and for me. And God is going to meet you and meet me at the point of my needs as we take this one week off just to be with Jesus. Uh, number two, the benefit is that this is also a spiritual lifting week, which is done once a year. It is a revival. It is a time that we also spend time with our God as we confess our sins, as we uh, come before him, repent of our sins, and as we experience the power of forgiveness, the power of uh, togetherness. And number three, the benefit. This is a week that if all of us would have gotten the opportunity, and I want to believe so, because it is still my prayer, this is a week that we all come together as we congregate together. It bonds us. It bonds us together as one family. These are advantages which we cannot bond when I'm now where I am, you are where you are, the bonding might not be very easy. Again, this is the time that we can understand each other by understanding even the, the body language of one another. Remember, it is a sacred week that has been set apart as a Sabbath for seven days for one year that we sit before <clears throat> the, under the feet of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This is what the camp meeting is all about. Tomorrow, I'll elaborate even more on what the pen of inspiration and what the Bible says. But what I'm saying, it finds its root from the word of God. It is a time that God has made, and I've said it is a divine appointment with you and with me that we can present before God all our needs and all our joy that we have had for the whole year. May God bless you. May God prepare each one of us. May God prepare also our speakers that this time round, God willing, please let us grab this opportunity and have the physical meaning meeting because we don't know where this world is taking us. May God bless us. Back to you, Elder. Thank you, thank you so much, my pastor. I'm blessed to know that the camp meeting is a divine appointment with our God. That it's a time for us to focus on God for seven days, and it is a Sabbath of the Lord, holy as any other Sabbath, that we celebrate the goodness of our God during that time, and normally it comes during the harvesting time. And Pastor, you've reminded us that staying around normally takes, staying at home normally, normally removes our attention from what God intends from us. So it is proper that we plan to attend. It is done as a nation and it is done to involve the whole families. So when we plan for, 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 for camp meeting, it is a family affair and not an individual. God intends to meet the whole family at home. So we thank God that God's ideal for the camp meeting is that we all gather together at the camp meeting. 
that's the deal for God that he has, uh, that I've learned from my pastor this evening, that we all plan to be there. And that we have also learned that it is unfair for those that the Lord has chosen to prepare to speak to us uh, during the camp meeting to come and find empty benches. That message, the times that they have used, is meant to come and edify us when we attend the camp meeting. And it would be, it would, it would be not proper for us to have God's people spend sleepless nights only to come and meet those empty uh, seats. So thank you, thank you, my pastor. I know you'll be able to build on this. And you've said that it's also our time to repent and confess our sins. You are, give, you are giving us that opportunity that for the whole year we have sinned against God. We have never repented, but you're being given that opportunity to repent. Yes. So I'm trusting that the brethren have heard this and I'm trusting that you will build on this uh, tomorrow and many more of the Lovington SDA members, not only Lovington, but because we have many other people who are joining here, all that, all those who have heard this message will make a definite plan to attend the camp meeting this year. Thank you so much, Maeda. Thank you. Uh, uh, tomorrow, we continue again. My pastor will be here. And those who will be on duty will be Brother Kenneth Bushnell of IT. Uh, they will, will also have uh, Keldin Owande. Uh, Brother Musa, you will still be on duty with uh, Alfred Masaki. And then we'll have um, our elder, Elder Jared Basire. Our head elder is the one who will be on duty with my pastor tomorrow. Let's pray that we'll continue on this high note uh, throughout this week. And may the Lord bless you all. I'd like to request my pastor now to pray with us as we close this uh, gathering. Thank you so much. Thank you. I feel so honored, my elder, to give me such a wonderful opportunity. Uh, since let us now focus on God, humble ourselves as we pray. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, what a glorious moment that you have called us. Just to remind us of the great and divine appointment that you have made with us that you have set a week for us as a family of loving Tom, that from 30th of July to 6th of August, we be together in your church as we celebrate the Feast of Tabernacle. Lord God, as we also celebrate from uh, and feeding from your feet during this period of time. We want to thank you for our members who have joined it this evening. And Father God, as we plan and continue to have these meetings throughout the week, may your spirit guide us. I want to pray, Lord, even for our speakers who will be facilitating here, may you bless them. And all our members, almighty God, may you bless us together as you prepare us for that great week that, Lord, you have ordained for loving to a week that you have ordained to bless them, that each and every member, Lord, may get this blessing together with our friends, our neighbors, as we have read from your word, that this is the time we call even the foreigners and we brought them together. Also to celebrate in the feasting, we feast both uh, physically, materially, spiritually. And Lord, we, 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 we sit before you as you bless us. We pray that my father, may this date be a date that all your children may be of good health, both the physical and spiritual, that we all feed together and we all receive your blessings that you have ordained for your children. Teach us to remain faithful to you. Teach us always to confess our sins before you. And above all, Lord, teach us to be humble in whatever we are doing. For in Jesus' holy name I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, my pastor. Thank you, the brethren who have turned up today. I'm glad that uh, the numbers of gadgets are reached uh, 32, but I'm sure there are many more people who are 
uh, tuned in. May the Lord bless you. See you again you tomorrow. Can, you can be sure, my elder, here we are with the entire family of elder Justice Ugola. We are with elder Steve hey. and elder, elder JB. They are all here. Amen, 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 yes. amen. Yeah. Read the village in your in, in your place. Yeah, this is the, uh, the entire village. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Eric, nice to, nice to know that you're in town. Uh, we are praying for you. We are praying for you. Oh, uh, wonderful. wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Thank you all very much. Oh, let, let them show their faces. Yes. Because the gadget is one. You know, we cannot have this. <laughs> yeah. I mean,